Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to do a follow-up video on area calculations in ARCHICAD. I had a great question in the comments on the last video asking about how to calculate the surface area of walls in an individual room. So let's look at how to do that. This is great because we'll be able to know how much, say, chipboard or paint or wall surface is in a room, so you can do whatever you want to calculate with that. To do this, you don't want to look at walls, you actually want to look at zones. Step one is you got to create your zones. I've already done this in the project. You can see they're all nice and color coded. Let's just jump to 3D and I'll show you what that looks like there. I have a set up a 3D view that has all the zones turned on. And uh, there they are. So you can see all my zones are going floor to ceiling and are filling the space. This is one of the things you want to make sure is that for this to work, your zones have to be the right height. Otherwise, you're not going to get the right calculation. One thing I will show you here, I have zones set up to be located as interior or exterior. I have a couple of zones which are like the front entry or the cover deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these, hit show selection in 3D. And so this is actually, these are the zones we want. We're going to exclude those exterior zones. And I'll show you how to do that in the schedule. Next up, we create the schedule. I fortunately have in this project already, and this is in my template. So if you're using my template, you're already partway there. I have a preliminary area schedule. It looks like this. It is taking the zones and cataloging all the areas. So we can see here, it's head classification space, the layer is zones, it's not to be demoed, it's set to show on the schedule. And then I've got the home story, so number, the name, and the area. We have one interesting piece of information, we know how much the square footage of all the zones are. It's a little under 6,700 square feet. So that right there tells me more or less how much jipboard is in the ceiling, right? Assuming all the ceilings are flat, we're good to go. There's, you know, some weird things here that if there's a skylight or a stair, you know, you'd have to refine this a little bit more, but that's pretty good as it is. Next up for the interior walls, I'm going to go to this other schedule I've created. And I've added some fields in here. What I've added is wall surface area, door surface area, and window surface area. So if we go to add fields and we go down to zones, we can see here's all this, you know, tons of zone information. So just like in the previous video, I've added some of these and I've figured out what I want. And these are the three I want, doors, walls, and windows. So why do I want doors, walls, and windows? Well, we have these numbers. So theoretically, wall surface area is exactly what we want. And we could say, okay, 18,637 square feet. That's the wall surface area of all the zones in the project. So that's how much chipboard is in there. But what we don't know is, does that take into account holes? So let's do a quick test. Look here, we've got closet one. It's got one door and this surface area. So let's go to the floor plan. And there's two ways we can figure this out. One, let's remember the number 224.4. Here we have closet number one. If I delete this door, let's go back to the schedule. Uh, let's rebuild the schedule. And there we are. Closet 1 is now 240.9, and the door surface area has gone to zero. So we can do that math, and you can see that the wall surface area just went up by the area of the door. So that tells me that was calculating the hole for the door. Undo that. Go back. Rebuild our schedule. There we are again. You know, 244.4, 15.6. And add those up, get 240. So now we know that's right, so we can trust that and we can say, there we are. That's our square footage for walls. Here's our square footage for floors. Here's square footage for doors, for windows. We can break it down by story. We can break it down by individual room. That's it, super easy. Uh, a couple of notes to go along with all this. Another way to test the size of a room to make sure that the schedule is correct is we could measure this and we can see that this room is about 410 by 86. So we could add 410 plus 410 plus 86 plus 86. We could look at the height of this wall, which is about nine feet. We could add the perimeter together, then multiply it by nine and see if the number's right. We go to project info here. We can see that the circumference of this room is 2610. So if we do 26 point, say nine times nine, we get 242. That's the overall surface area of the room with outdoors. So we know again that the schedule matches that 242. And again, this project info is telling us a lot of the stuff we already want. Top surface area, wall surface area, area circumference, etc. That's it. That's the basics. If you set up your model right and you make your zones touch all the walls they need to touch, you make them the proper height, 
If you have slope ceilings, use solid element operation or trim to roof to slice those zones to have the right slope. If you have double height spaces, either stack zones or make fall zones, and you're good to go. thought this was going to be a long video, but actually it's really straightforward. You set up your zones, you set up your schedule, you verify the schedule gives you what you want, and then there you have it. The last thing I'll say here is this is a great reminder of what good models and good templates provide. I've been using ArchiCAD for a long time, and I never really slowed down to think, can I calculate wall surface area in my models by room? And I can. It was just right there, ready to go. If you build good models, all you have to do is figure out what information you need, and then you go and get it, and it's right there waiting for you. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please like and subscribe. Madeline, thank you for editing this video. I know you weren't expecting to do one more this summer, but hopefully we knock this one out fast. Please download the template. Please download the work environment. All that stuff is on shoenome.com for free for whatever price you want to pay. Just go and get it. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you very much.